Today, I'm gonna to share with you three steps to regaining your pre-lockdown weight, even if you're still stuck at home. And surprisingly, you don't even need to get sweaty. And if you stick around to the end, I'll give you the secret carb trick I use to get results on the scales overnight. Hi, I'm Sal from Red Pill Fitness, where we use the Hawk system to coach our clients to lean up, re-energize and live pain-free. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe and the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified of videos I release every Tuesday and Friday. So a chief complaint that I get when I'm working with someone to control their food is it gets boring. Classic example, Sal, I'm bored of chicken. When someone tells me this, I know it's not the food that's the issue. I mean, most people can eat chicken nuggets and KFC without any boredom. What it's telling me is that they lack cooking skills. What I say is use the time that you're stuck at home to learn some new recipes. I'm sorry to say this, but if you cook sort of like bland British food, you're gonna get bored real quickly. Use, for example, a chicken curry. There are dozens of dishes that you can cook that taste drastically different. All you need to do is put the effort in and learn them. Here's a red pill. Many times you've used the excuse, I don't have enough time. But now that you're no longer commuting or traveling, that excuse no longer holds water. I guarantee you there's someone busier and more successful than you that also prioritizes their health. Nobody has time, you have to make it. Speaking of chicken curries, the next step is you need to make your own takeaways or junk food. Personally, it's a game changer for my guys on the Hawk system. The secret sauce is, that this strategy guarantees you'll eat way less. Let's use a curry as an example. If you get a takeaway, you might have poppadoms, bhajis, naan, rice, a couple of curries, and a few beers. If you're at home, most people won't even eat a fifth of this. You will save yourself hundreds of, if not even thousands of calories. Also, when you see what goes into your favorite treats, it'll make your stomach turn. For example, banana loaf, which loads of people are eating, can have over 200 grams of sugar and 100 grams of butter. That's around about 1800 calories. And that's just from the two ingredients. Now armed with this information, you may make a version that has less fattening ingredients but definitely you won't add the chemicals and E numbers that are standard with these foods. Managing your carbs is number three. It's not that carbs are bad, it's just that they're so easy to cut down without noticing. So for example, 200 grams of rice down to 150 grams of rice is not a huge deal, but that saves you around about 200 calories. Carbs are also our fuel for activity. And if you're sitting on your ass most of the time, you don't need that many. Too many carbs will interrupt your fat oxidation. So we need to cut them down. My favorite tweak for getting the scales moving back down is that on non-training days, have only carbs from vegetables. So no fruit, bread, grains, starchy carbs. You need to earn your carbs. That's, that's the saying that we have. On training days, for women, only have one meal with carbs and men have two meals. And when I mean carbs, have all those things back in that you couldn't have on the non-training days. Here's a red pill. Losing all of this is about what you put in your mouth. Use the time that you have now to build a menu of food that you know the macros, the calories you enjoy and you can make with your eyes closed. If you don't invest the time now, when all of this blows over, those folds that you don't like, they're gonna be pretty fucking tough to get rid of. As always, if you wanna choose your destiny and work with me, click the link below.